Throughout much of the 19th and early 20th centuries, Boston's neighborhood of Jamaica Plain was often referred to as the Eden of America due to its bucolic setting located just a few miles southwest of downtown Boston. In 1897, author and longtime resident Harriet Manning Whitcomb described Jamaica Plain as a place where the loving, favoring smile of heaven rested peculiarly upon our plain. More than a century later, much of the area's geographical splendor remains gratefully intact. But the neighborhood has also grown, it seems, into another kind of garden, a garden of social, ethnic, and cultural diversity. The greatest asset of Jamaica Plain is its vitality, which comes from the residents' differences, their many backgrounds, experiences, and purposes. They share common interests that go right back to the beginning of the community. Author Unknown. Through the years, Jamaica Plain, or JP as the locals like to call it, has seen more social and cultural change, arguably, than any other of Boston's neighborhoods, creating a shared environment rich in diversity and openness. One might say that change is the fertile topsoil that provides Jamaica Plain with the nourishment it needs to retain its distinctiveness as a community, and allowing it to continue to be a vibrant and dynamic place to live. In a way, it's a very accepting neighborhood. I think it might be, be the most changed neighborhoods of all the neighborhoods of Boston, but uh, I think its acceptance has allowed it to change uh, in, a, in a very natural, uh, natural way. Its strength, I think, is in its diversity, the way it accepts change and, and keeps adapting um, and keeps becoming its own, it keeps staying its own unique neighbor. The natural landscape surrounding Jamaica Plain helped inspire America's first and perhaps most famous landscape architect, Frederick Law Olmsted. Olmsted envisioned, quote, a linear network of parks connected by walking paths winding along a gentle stream and numerous small ponds, which weaves its way through the neighborhoods of Boston. That vision was realized in Boston's famed Emerald Necklace, of which Jamaica Plain lays claim to some of its crown jewels, for example, the Arnold Arboretum and Jamaica Pond. Jamaica Pond is what's known as a kettle pond that was left over from retreating glaciers and is currently being fed by natural springs. The pond has an area of 68 acres and runs to a depth of 60 feet, making it the largest body of fresh water in Boston. It is ringed by a 1.4 mile walking path and surrounded by 11 acres of forest and has become an extremely popular destination for Bostonians for walking, fishing, and sailing. The Arnold Arboretum, named after James Arnold of New Bedford, is a 265 acre oasis managed by Harvard University and is stocked with all types of exotic tree and plant life from around the world. The Arboretum is a place where locals can walk, bike, relax, and on a certain Sunday in May, smell the lilacs. Of course, Jamaica Plain is home to many more active and passive recreational areas and open spaces, including the recently revitalized Southwest Corridor Park, a four-mile linear park that is the favorite of local walkers, runners, and cyclists. Also, hidden around town are many other parks, playgrounds, playing fields, and even a public garden, which is maintained by local residents. Historic Forest Hill Cemetery is yet another open area where locals enjoy the scenic vistas, meandering paths, and the locally renowned Lake Hibiscus. While still an active cemetery, the Cemetery of Forest Hills is also known as the final resting place for many notable persons, including E.E. E. Cummings, Eugene O'Neill, and Anne Sexton. I think Absolutely. people who live here love the fact that uh, it's got this Main Street vibe, but the Arboretum is close by, so it's a, it's a walking by. kind of people. These, it's a biking kind of people, you know. It's, 
everybody's pretty, pretty physically People are active. active. They want to be walking around. They want to go to the restaurants at night. They're and social. Stroll in here and you know have some fun. It's, this isn't like a sit home on the couch and watch television type of community. It's just not. Jamaica Plains history is a fascinating study in continual social transformation that reveals a pattern of progressive change leading to cultural enrichment for the benefit of the community. As such, the history of Jamaica Plain has contributed greatly to the storied past of Boston as a whole. Evidence of these transformative social shifts goes back to the beginning, circa 1650s, when pilgrim settlers displaced the local Massachusetts Indian tribe, from whom, incidentally, it is theorized that Jamaica Plain may have gotten its name. Specifically, from a man who was the regent to the chief of the Massachusetts tribe, known as Coochamacan, or Big Feather. One of the most interesting things, I think, it's uh, Jamaica Plain has never been its own city or municipality like Roxbury or Dorchester or Boston. But it being part, always being a neighborhood of a larger town or city, like Roxbury, um, it's people have found a special attachment to the neighborhood as opposed to the larger town or city. So they've always said they're from Jamaica Plain, even when it's only been a neighborhood. And it's it's always been an immigrant neighborhood. A lot of change uh, since the 1840s and 50s in Jamaica Plain. But it people have found this this special attachment somehow to the neighborhood and not to the city as a whole. Because Jamaica Plain is within Boston's city limits, it benefits from having access to a world-class public transportation system. One of the original streetcar suburbs, it may be said that public transportation is part of Jamaica Plain's DNA. Residents have access to two subway lines, the green and orange lines, with several stops throughout the neighborhood, multiple bus lines going into and out of the city, and the commuter rail, which can take you to Boston's main transportation hub, South Station. It's very uh, T-friendly. Um, it's very accessible to downtown Boston. You can get on the Orange Line in 10 minutes, you're in Back Bay. Uh, it's just got a mix of old and new. Uh, many different uh, cultural groups are represented. You've got Hispanic, Latino, different cultural you know, festivals and events, and uh, just everybody seems to get along great. Few neighborhoods in Boston have seen as much effort put into urban renewal and revitalization as has Jamaica Plain over the past 30 years. Everything from residential housing to commercial buildings, from shopping plazas to parks, and from roads to public transportation have all benefited from continual and concerted improvement efforts, all spearheaded by community initiatives. Today, Jamaica Plain lays claim to three Main Street districts, Center South, Eggleston Square, and Jackson Hyde Square. I think the business district in Jamaica Plain is absolutely incredible. Um, I've heard a lot of people call it Restaurant Row, which I think is really great. There's so many different types of restaurants. I mean, you can eat Indian food, Thai food, Chinese food, uh, American food, which is my favorite. Um, so it's great. You can go so, so many different places. And then also, uh, there's so many incredible shops, and they, you know, they're just popping up all the time. And we've got a great. Um, card store down the street called On Center, but they sell local artists. The neighborhood of Jamaica Plain is many things to many different people. But without question, it is a community that is rich in history, natural resources, and culture. It is unique, open, diverse, and unlike any other of the neighborhoods of Boston. But ultimately, it's the residents of Jamaica Plain that define the true character of the community. Neighbors representing a broad range of social, racial, ethnic, and religious backgrounds, working and living together, and sharing the common goal of looking after each other's health and welfare, and that of their beloved neighborhood of Jamaica Plain. I love Jamaica Plain. I love Jamaica Plain. We love, we love Jamaica, Jamaica Plain. Plain. I positively love Jamaica Plain.